Hey guys, what is up? So this is Story Time Five, and this happened about on the fifteenth, about a day or two ago, May fifteenth, around twelve thirty. This is about my cat, and basically my cat died on me, right in front of me. I don't know how it happened or what was wrong, but this is how the story goes. So two nights ago on the fifteenth around 11 30 I went outside to sit on the porch like I always do and my cat Prince he came up to me he looked fine days months before that my cat doesn't look sick I always check my cat out he wasn't losing fur his gums were healthy looking he wasn't acting really weird or anything but he comes up on the porch you know he's rubbing up against me saying hello and stuff and I'm like hi Loving him. He lays down for a little while, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. With all this time, it happened within 30 minutes of it. So I was very traumatized when this happened, too. I didn't know what was happening. Anyway, I'm sitting there on the porch. He's sitting there. Then he gets up and he starts making it sound like he's going to throw up a hairball. He does throw up some food. My cats have done that. They throw up hairballs and food sometimes, and grass. He gets up, he throws up food, and I'm like, don't do that. So I go inside to get a broom, come back outside, he's, he is like stumbling, he didn't, he couldn't stand up basically, he was wobbling, and all of a sudden he just collapses, and I'm freaking out because he starts to make this really, horrific cry like he's really in pain or he's basically he's dying I don't know he collapses and then all of a sudden he starts shaking and his legs are going all over the place and I'm screaming Prince what's wrong I am I'm screaming don't die on me crying this whole time I'm crying very traumatic because at that time I'm like he's dying I don't know why but he starts shaking and out of control and then he just stops I think for about five minutes he was breathing. The whole time I'm I'm basically right beside him saying I love him. I just kept saying I love you Prince, it's okay. Because at that time I knew he was passing. I walk away for about two minutes because I'm just freaking out saying what the hell is happening, what the fuck just happened. I come back, I'm about five feet away from my cat. I go back up on the porch He's not breathing. He's passed. I look into his eyes. The eye, you know, the light in his eyes were just gone. He was he was dead. It happened out of nowhere. I was very tra very traumatized when I I was I've been crying for the past 2 days or so because he was fine. He was laying there then all of a sudden he's just dead. I mean, my cat, he didn't look sick or anything. He, he was fine. That whole day, he was fine. A few years back, our neighbor told us that someone was poisoning the cats. Maybe he was poisoned by somebody or something because my cats go outside. They go throughout the whole neighborhood. You know, they're very nice cats. Most times, they'll go out to people. And I've always told my cats, if you die, die in front of me so I can bury you. I don't ho I hope the rest of my cats don't do that I rather my cat just go off into the woods or something to die I know that sounds a little cruel but what I experienced with Prince I don't I don't want to ever have to experience that again he literally was screaming out in pain and then he's just gone so there's a certain spot in the front of my house now where I buried him it took me a good after I dug the hole deep enough, it took me about 10 minutes to finally put him in the ground because I was like, this is not happening. This cannot be happening. You were just there and now you're dead. I mean, he, he, doesn't, he, did, he wasn't sick. He didn't have seizures or anything in his whole life that I've had him since he was born. I think he was about seven, eight years old. But every time I look over there at the spot I buried him at, it just makes me sad. 
I don't know, maybe someone out there can tell me maybe what was wrong, maybe he was poisoned, maybe he had a, a condition I didn't know about. Like I said, he stood up, threw up, he started getting very wobbly and then he collapsed and he started shaking really bad. And I, I was freaking out because I didn't know what to have to do. It was like midnight, the vets aren't open, I didn't know who to call, and then he was gone. But I always loved my cat. I just, I just don't see how it happened. Well, I understand people and animals sometimes they just up and die. But it was just so crazy. But yeah, story time five is very sad. I couldn't make this like yesterday or the day before. I didn't really want to make this video because I thought I was just going to keep bawling. Because I tried to make it yesterday and. I just couldn't do it. So, yeah. So, if anybody has any information, like the symptoms I just told you about, leave it at the bottom in the comments. I don't know. I'm never going to know why he died. I can't take him to go get autopsy or anything like that. So, but, yeah. That's my story time five. Not a good one, but a sad one. But, I love the ladies, love my cat, Prince. Yep. See ya.